Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with another FFC vlog. These are the video blogs shot using the front facing cameras found on the various phones and tablets and laptops and computers that we get to review here on some gadget guy. Uh, this episode is being shot on the front facing camera found on the Blackberry Passport. I unfortunately never did. I, I didn't get the Blackberry Classic. I wasn't able to hold on to it long enough to come up with a fun vlog topic to shoot a vlog on that one. But we are now using Blackberry's flagship keyboard phone, the really unique uniquely form-factored uh, passport to talk about movies. Maybe about a week or so ago on, I don't know, maybe the beginning of this month. I don't know if that day has any particular meaning for people, but I, I posted a movie review. I used to host a movie review show back in the day. And as something of a cinema purist, even though I think the movie theater experience is actually kind of terrible as most audiences are kind of rude and a lot of people tend to chew with their mouths open and I suffer from a severe case of misophonia, I still think that going to the theater is probably the best way to consume a horror film. But of course we can't always make it to the theater to catch these films and sometimes our our most favorite horror films tend to be little indie films that might not even make it to a theater near you. So we've got to try and replicate that scary movie vibe at home. For a lot of scary movies this is the death knell. When we talk about movies like Paranormal Activity, for example, there was a really hard split when that movie came out between friends of mine who absolutely loved that movie and friends of mine that absolutely hated that movie. There wasn't a lot of gray area in between. There wasn't a, a wide spectrum of people. I thought the movie was acceptable. I give it a B. You know, th that didn't really happen with Paranormal Activity in my circle of friends. But there was a trend that broke out very quickly that I kind of picked up on and that the people that really, really liked Paranormal Activity were people that went and saw Impact movie theaters and got that sort of communal vibe of being freaked out. The people that didn't enjoy it as much tended to be people who watched it at home or watched it in a group of friends. And that split, that dichotomy, absolutely reinforces my hypothesis that a scary movie is only going to be as effective as the amount of attention you can pay to it and your own ability to minimize the amount of distraction you might face while watching that movie. And it's also been influenced by the fact that my wife is not a huge fan of scary movies, so I often have to consume this content by myself. And that's actually rule number one for Juan's at-home scary movie vibe. Unless you know you are in an audience of friends who will take the scary movie experience seriously, Watch these things by yourself. I cannot stress this enough. If you are a film fan, you need to give the film the respect it deserves. And very few people in your circle of friends are likely to treat scary movies the same way. They're going to turn a social gathering into a social gathering. They're going to talk, they're going to get snacks, they probably chew with their mouths open. Cell phones are going to chirp, make noise, vibrate, light up. Your friends are terrible people and they will do everything in their power to distract you away from just experiencing the horror, the tension, the scariness right in front of you. I'm going to give you a little advice, Claire. Scrape them off. Rule number two for one scary movie at home consumption guide is actually going to seem a little counterintuitive, but go with me on this for just a second. Your TV is probably not the best way to create an immersive scary experience. Unless you've done some kind of phenomenal job of creating a home theater experience, often our TVs are a little too far away or a little too close. Plus, if you really crank the audio out in the air, you might disturb the neighbors if you live in an apartment or a condo or just other people who might live in the ha cohabitate with you in your abode. For creating the most immersive horror film environment that I can create, I've actually found that the combination of a decent tablet and a really nice pair of headphones goes a lot farther than what I can create using my TV and speakers. It's probably terrible for my eyes, but holding the tablet in such a way that I can lie down on my couch and focus exclusively on the tablet and ignore all of the other stuff surrounding me in my living room. And just like with moving to the tablet, it's much harder to distract myself with other things happening around me because my ears are completely occupied. The tablet's right here in front of my face and the audio is right on top of my ears. Now, while point two might still seem a little counterintuitive or a little counterproductive and not using your TV and instead using a tablet, which I'm sure plenty of people will still criticize me and claim that this is an inferior movie watching gadget. Point three is dead on and I don't care what you're using to actually consume the movie, but you need to watch this film when nothing else can distract you. I found for me personally, the perfect time to watch a scary movie is between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. Everybody's asleep, my phone is not blowing up with notifications, and I am able to dedicate focus solely on that film combined with the fact that you've got to kill every other source of lighting in your home. If you're wearing a smartwatch, put it into theater mode. Mute your telephones and then make sure that they are face down so that nothing is glowing or bleeping or turning on or illuminating. Because again, you need to dedicate focus to that horror film free of distractions. And the cool thing about shutting off all your lights and waiting for that late night movie watching time is that 
If your eyes stray from the screen, your eyes take a second to reacclimate to darkness. While you're watching a scary movie is apt to freak you out more. There's a super long hallway right behind our living room. So if I pull my eyes away from my tablet, I can't see what's down that hallway and my brain is already making up stuff to scare the bejeebus out of me. It's just unnaturally eerie and quiet and still. And, and instinctively, as human beings, our, our sort of somewhat evolved primal uh, primate brain have sort of led us to this point where we just naturally seek out light. We are not fans of darkness. Light is where the safety is and darkness are where big jungle cats can jump out of the bushes and eat us. But of course, in this scenario, light is where the scary stuff is and darkness is where potential scary stuff is. So folks, that's my surefire guide for watching a scary movie at home. If you can't see a scary movie in the theaters, I would highly recommend checking this out with a movie like Paranormal Activity or Wreck, the Spanish uh, Spanish film, uh, found footage film. I absolutely love the movie watching. That's one of my all-time favorite movie watching experiences was waiting till 2 a.m., firing up Wreck on a tablet, putting on some boss skull rumbler headphones, and then just scaring the pee out of myself while I was kicked uh, kicked back on my couch with all the lights off. Just to recap, you want to watch these movies by yourself unless you know you are with an amazing group of horror fans who will give the movie the respect it deserves. You, uh, If you are watching it by yourself, maybe consider not using your TV and instead going to a smaller source, a smaller light source, and, and uh, the best pair of headphones you can get your hands on. And then step three, wait until everything is dead quiet. Uh, hit that movie watching experience at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and I'm guaranteed it's going to rock your socks off. Just a reminder, this video was shot using the front-facing camera on the BlackBerry Passport. Not a bad little shooter. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and tutorials and reviews like these, and I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't sharing my videos on social sites like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and Google+. So keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video. Ooh,